We raise the heavy metal horns, the legendary heavy metal horns. We raise them up for K-Master Sanchez and the band Saxon. Every day is a good day to do Saxon. I can tell you that right now. And here's the backstory to K-Master Sanchez. Um, he says, uh, we, we, a week or two ago, we did that Amon Amarth song, Saxons and Vikings, which was just fantastic. And it featured Saxon. Um, in, in the thing, well, K-Master gets down in the comments of that, I do believe, and he said, well, guess what, Shane? Johan, the singer for Amon Amarth, he was actually featured on, as a singer on uh, a song called Predator from the Thunderbolt record. Um, full disclosure, I did listen to that when it came out. Uh, it wasn't on any kind of a repeat, but you know what? I make the goddamn rules around here. I don't remember the song Predator. I, I couldn't hum a lick to say, you know, if you had my kidneys out on a table, I couldn't hum you a single bar of it. I don't know. But nevertheless, we're getting into this for K-Master. We're going to see if old Johan is, is, is doing the thing. So let's learn about Saxon. Then we listen to that song, Saxon. They got 442,000 monthly listeners on the Spotify account. Top five jams. Princess of the night. She was a princess of the night. Isn't it about like a plane though? 36 million plays. You got Wheels of Steel. Just classic. All of it's good, right? 18 million plays. Third song, surprising, but not surprising. It's Ride Like the Wind, the Christopher Cross cover they did. It is the night. My heart is weak. I'm on the run. No one times. You know that song? 10 million plays on that. Crusader. You got to have Crusader. I love that record. That's when I saw them live. Black and Blue, Saxon Crusader, Ingve Malmsteen. Uh, and in the fifth slot, the brand new uh, jam that we did, we did a reaction video to Hellfire and Damnation. 151,000 plays. That's off the brand spanking. It's the new single. I was going to say spank, spank, spanking new album, but that's, that would be wrong. We don't do things that are wrong if we know they're wrong. <clears throat> Let's go all the way back, baby. Let's go all the way back. Denim and Leather, 1981. We're looking at the albums here. Crusader, Crusader. Um, Innocence is no excuse. That came out after Crusader? Interesting. Strong Arm of the Law. You got Solid Ball of Rock, Forever Free, Dogs of War, The Eagle Has Landed, Part 2, Wheels of Steel, some kind of a probably redo. Unleash the Beast, you got uh, Saxon, 1999, Power and the Glory, Saxon, another one, Metalhead, uh, classic uh, shit, we're just into the 2001s, guys. Let's zip it down. The Inner Sanctum comes out 2007, Enter Into the Labyrinth. These guys have been long, hard, and rocking the whole damn time. They didn't take any breaks, they've been going. I saw Saxon with Motorhead on Lemmy's Rest in Peace, his last time. To uh, Destiny, I had that record. Did that have that song? Here my stands alone tonight, staring at the stars. What was that song? Song for Emma. Right there. Damn good. Call to Arms, you got Sacrifice, comes out in 2013, on and on, live in Germany, and oh, so many, many, many things. And then we get into the 2021 Inspirations, Red Brick City, Carpe Diem. Um, of course, the record that this comes from is the 2018's Thunderbolt, the song Predator. So there you go, there's some albums. Uh, we look into the related artists, this is going to be every fantastic band ever, right? Um... You may have a mega, it may have a big four in there. You will never see Metallica. They do not make it on lists of bands of any kinds. You got Accept. You got Diamond Head, Warlock, Running Wild, Udo, a lot of German stuff, and some Canadian. We got Anvil, Halford, Raven, Metal Church, The Fabulous, Grim Reaper, The Wonderful Tigers of Pantang, and Grave Digger. So that is the related artist for Saxon. Now we look into the uh, bio ever so quickly, then we listen to the song Predator. Okay, uh, and you got the guys here. And oh my heavens, they're up in the, be the belfry, the bell tower, with the beautiful stained glass in the church. Uh, they are just standing there because they are crusaders. And they're saying, what are you doing up here? We was just smoking peyote and you walked in. Now we got to share. 
Saxon was one of the early leaders of the new wave of British heavy metal alongside Iron Maiden and Def Leppard, even out, out distancing them at the onset. Emerging in 1977, the band found commercial success with the release of their seminal sophomore effort, 1980's Wheels of Steel which went platinum in the UK. Subsequent efforts, Strong Arm of the Law, 1980, Denim and Leather, 1981, and Power and the Glory did well at home, with the latter out outing, uh, cracking the Billboard 200. But a series of bad decisions and bad breaks, as well as internal strife, severely stunned the band's momentum toward the end of the 80s. Really? I mean, I guess, yeah. What would, when, when was the Crusader tour? I was a little fella. Um, it is that time, everybody. It's that time. Oh, my God. Just, I feel like it. Got to do some stretches. It's always important to stretch the body. You know? We go to the Thunderbolt record. Sorry. Uh, Thunderbolt record, we find this on Predator. He says Johan's on it. Amon Amarth singer Johan, are you familiar with him? He fights sea monsters on stage. And he tells them, Put you back into the Orin hut, two, three, and four. So we'll see if we can hear him in this song, but nevertheless, it's always going to be a fantastic Saxon song. They can't do bad things. Titty, titty, bang, bang. There we go. Oh, it's got some beef behind it. Love Biff Byford's vocal, always have. It's just... Oh, that's Johan behind him growling. Like the way they're doubling up. The Vikings and Crusaders can get along. Run for your life. There's no escape. Oh, yeah. Silence and deadly attack with the Hit you heavy. Then dream like. Keep the chef. What's Lohan, Johan got to say? Nothing survives your naked aggression. Your naked aggression? Run for your life. Said nothing survives your naked aggression. This is my theme song for wrestling. Come out. Who wants to play a solo if you can play something like that? Drums are right in the pocket. They sound good. Is that Johan doing the growl, the laughs? He let out a predator growl there. This is a good hard rock and heavy metal song. Love the sound of that snare. In for the kill? Stop it on a dime, it's a 10 every time. 
every time it stops at 100 times, it's at 10 every time. Sons of Odin. Guitar tones and everything. Oh, that's nice. I gotta go back and revisit that record now, thank you very much. Just wonderful, just wonderful, perfectly, yes. K-Master coming in with the Johan. I mean, they, they wooed me. I saw them with the uh, Ghost. They opened up for Ghost and they just wooed me right over. I was just like, damn, I'm a fuck. I love me some Amon Amarth. I do. Now, what say you? Most important part of my videos, as always, enhanced stamp. We went right down there downtown to the government. And I told them, my favorite part of my video, I need documentation and notifications that, that can prove to everyone that pays attention that the, my favorite part of these videos is your comments. I get down there and read what your thoughts and opinions. And I skip over the ones that say rude things about me. And I go right to the ones that say great things about me and have questions about the bands that we do here. Uh, but what say you? Good, great, fantastic, Shane. I'm a huge fan of Saxon. I have been a fan of Saxon for 50 years now. How long have they been around? I love them. I love me Biff Byford and all the boys, and I've own all the records, and they've been signed by them, and they've they've also come over to my house a couple of times. We won't talk about that because they came over and they used the key in the back door, and that's all I'll say about back doors. But um, all time favorite albums, all time favorite records, uh, all time favorite uh, moments in time and videos and songs and stuff that we should check out from Saxon. Do you have a fun story about meeting those guys or being at the front row of a concert? Get down there and tell me all about it. Or you could say, not good, not great. Uh, just not my cup of tea, Shane. I respect them for their legendary status. I do. I appreciate them as forefathers bringing the metal to where it is now, to where I like it, which is deathcore. It came from those small little seeds and has turned into what I listen to today. So I'm not going to say that I don't want it and I don't need it because in some strange way, I do need it. But... I won't listen to it very often because I like deathcore, and that doesn't match up very well with it. All of that can be put in the comments below, don't you know? If you got a request, want to see it on the channel, hit those links or put it in the comments, okay? We're swinging out. We're going. K Master Sanchez. Well done. Saxon. Let's go.